changed my heart um, to rise above my own smallness, to uh, become a bigger person, more generous, more patient, more loving. I think peace is a function of accountability and freedom. You know, I ask myself that question every single day. I am a psychologist, so you're asking me questions. Uh, I think we have to look inside ourselves and, 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 and try to bring out the best. Where I can uh, have the kind of setup around me, which I'm working towards, right? Have your children, educate your children, educate others' children. Children, bring in your grandparents, have multiple generations live in the same place. Oh, well, I work on that actually all of the time. Mm, I'm actually working on that. Work harder. My purpose in life is to serve others. My purpose in life is to love you. I love you. As a matter of fact, standing here with you is, is a testament to that. Oh, my, my life can't get any more peaceful and harmonic than it is right now. I meditate. I open my heart. I affirm positive affirmation. I pray to God. I connect it to my own tradition, my roots. And that's why I'm participating in your film. That's why I want you to be successful. That's why I will do anything I can for you to be successful. To make my world more peaceful, first off, I'm just going to smile at everybody and give them all I can as far as my life. I would be more accepting of what is fun in my life and stop striving for things that I can't have now. Dice la Biblia que para que no conozca a Jesucristo no hay paz. Yo no tenía paz. Hasta que vine a los pies de Jesús, entonces ahora sí tengo paz. I'm a first grade teacher and I teach my kids about tolerance and acceptance of different people around the world. That's how I teach people. Good question and simply is to tell my children exactly what not to do what I've done, mainly with alcoholism. It's too late for that. Do I think the United States should attack militarily? Who? Who should attack? First, no. Why do we have to attack? No one. No one. <laughs> nobody. Uh, nobody. They should attack fear inside of their own community. I don't think America should attack anyone unilaterally anymore. Working through our issues verbally is, is the way to do it. I don't like a, a attacking militarily. I don't think America should attack anybody. Canada. Canada. Simply because they really want to be the United States. Let's, let's, but let's do so gently. We'll attack Canada very gently. We'll make them part of the United States. What? England. England. Yeah, the oldest enemy of America. We need the, America should pay England a visit. Antarctica. Which country should America attack first? You. All right. <laughs> I would say Canada. Definitely Canada, and then maybe Greenland. Greenland's <laughs> probably a serious threat, I imagine. I mean. Their glacier is about to melt and inundate us with water. New York is going under. I, I know it. It should be us to be attacked. We have to look within ourselves to wake up and start following our philosophy and our principles, what the Creator has left here for us. Themselves. <laughs> Inside. They should attack militarily now first. Itself. The Matrix. I'm not really bored attacking anything. My daughter hates me every now and then. It's not I'm not gonna nuke her. I would cut out all the bullshit. Oh, there's my daughter. I love you.